viewers, what do you think? The safety of your food is at risk. EFSA, the European authority that watches over our food safety, provides advice on the safety or risks of products like pesticides, genetically modified organisms and food additives like colorants or sweeteners. But EFSA is said to have intimate ties with big business. So, how independent is EFSA? When a food manufacturer, Nestlé for example, wants to bring a new sweetener onto the market, it conducts its own research to see whether the product is safe or not. They deliver this report to EFSA. EFSA then hires experts who read the reports and give advice to EU institutions about whether the product may be admitted onto the European market. EFSA does not look at other independent research. EFSA has more than once dismissed independent studies because they were not carried out in laboratories with a particular label. Critics say this label is no guarantee of better scientific testing. This label is very expensive to achieve, so in practice it favours industry-funded laboratories. By taking this approach, EFSA closes the door to independent research. EFSA's experts should of course be independent, but are they really? Again, EFSA is often under fire. For example, 11 of the 20 researchers from the EFSA panel looking at the safety of colourings and flavourings in food have links with the food industry. These employees have worked for the industry before, some of them even during their time at EFSA. And there's more. Various people in EFSA's management have ties with the food industry. For example, EFSA board member Milan Kovac had a second life as a director of the International Life Sciences Institute. ILSI is a think tank and lobby group sponsored by food and biotech organisations like McDonald's, Coca-Cola, Unilever and Monsanto. He has now stepped down from ILSI after strong criticisms from civil society groups. ILSI represents political influence both in Brussels and in Washington. Meanwhile, the European Commission looks the other way. In fact, the Commission is a major client of EFSA, and as we all know by now, the Commission regularly dines with the big boys from the food business. A top executive of the European Food Safety Authority informed us that having different interests does not immediately lead to conflicts of interest. But the question is, wouldn't it be better if the safety of our food was advised by independent scientists based on independent research? What do you think?